What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you had a good weekend. I'm getting ready to watch that boxing fight. Everybody was talking about the Jake Paul and Tyrone Woodley once it starts. I know it's later tonight, but I'm going to watch some of the other matches. But I've been following a, a thing this weekend. It's been going across a lot of Facebook groups on social media. An eBay breaker is being called out for possible um, taking of cards. They And I'll show you guys the video. You guys watch it offhand. Then I'm going to go in and talk about what I've seen wrong with the video itself as well. The video is about a little over seven minutes long, but once it gets to the end, it's going to go through the randoms and stuff like that there. Don't pay attention to that part there unless you really want to. But I'll hit about the not using a verified random.org thing again, just like I normally do. But let's go ahead and cut to that video, and I'll be right back, everybody. What's going on, everybody? Colin here from Triple Play Sports 360. Doing 2020-21 Spectra Basketball, single box break number one, pick your teams. We've got Cali S, Hornets Wizards, uh, Hornets Wiz, oh my gosh, Hornets Warriors and Blazers, sorry, uh, Dan L, Nets, Jacob B, Grizzlies and Suns, James C, Cavs and Mavericks, John D with the Jazz, Kenneth H, Celtics, Lakers, Bucks and Timberwolves, Matt G, Clippers, Noah C, Pelicans, uh, Ro Roel G, Nuggets, Sean G, Pacers, uh, Thorpe W, Pistons, Rockets, Knicks, Thunder, Sixers, Kings, Spurs, Raptors, Timothy G, Heat and Wizards, uh, Yixon T, Hawks, Tom C, Magic, and Tyler T with the Bulls. Good luck, everybody. Thanks so much for joining. Let's see what we got. Need some low-numbered stuff. All right, first up, how about a uh, LeBron base for the Cavs? It's a good start. We've got full spectrum auto, Larry Nance Jr. That'll be a random at the end between the Lakers and the Cavs. Unless the same person has both. See, Lakers are going to Kenneth, Cavs are going to James. Uh, so it'll be a random at the end. Full spectrum auto there. Numbered 9 of 49. Gary Trent Jr. for the Raptors to 99. We've got a Chris Middleton of the Bucks to 35. Not bad. That's one Bucks. All right, next pack. All right. Fred Van Vliet for the Raptors. Rookie, Isaiah Joe for the Sixers. Got Warriors, 20 of 49. That is... Serunas, Marcelonis, Icons, Silverado. There you go, Warriors. Good chance I just butchered that name, but still a nice, uh, nice auto for the Warriors there to 49. And to 25. T-Wolves, Malik Beasley, Mojo, nice one Minnesota to 25, alright next pack, Oop. Tyrese Maxey rookie Sixers, that's nice. Got a Zion second year for the Pelicans. Got 
the 35, got another uh, full spectrum auto here. That'll be Celtics and Heat, Avery Bradley. 31 of 35. Um, Celtics are Kenneth H. Heat, Timothy G. All right, another random to do there. And the 49, we've got Paul George, Clippers. All right, last pack here, guys. Got Kendrick Nunn for the Heat. And a Silver for the Blazers, CJ McCollum. And we've got Pacers, two of five. Mark Jackson, Icons Auto. That's a uh, marble auto, two of five. Pacers going to Sean G. There you go, Sean. Nice low numbered hit there. Out of five, very nice. All right, we've got a Chris Stapps Porzingis to 35 on the back for the Mavericks. All right, that's going to do it for the break. We've got a couple of randoms to do here. Let me get those set up real quick. All right, the first random we're going to do is for the Larry Nance Jr. Uh, Lakers and Cavs, full spectrum auto. I'm going to click the randomizer three times here, guys. Good luck. One, two, three. All right, this one's going to the Cavs, the Larry Nance Jr. Cavs get that one. All right, then we've got the Avery Bradley for the Celtics and the Heat. That'll be three times on this randomizer here. Celtics and Heat. One, two, three. Going to the Celtics. Celtics get that one. All right, and that is going to do it for the break. Thanks, everybody, for watching and joining. I do appreciate it. I'll get these shipped right out. All right, everybody. See you guys soon. Pretty long video offhand. Um, trying to pull up the discussions that were going on here as well, too. All right. So first thing that I notice is that the guy has three cameras going. Three. And he can't keep the product on screen. That, to me, is my biggest red flag about anybody that's doing a break. He's keeping the product on camera at all times. The second thing that I noticed is I don't really hear packs being opened, which is discussed on various threads right now. And I can hear the penny sleeve. I can hear him breathing, all kind of other things to where it doesn't make logical sense, even if you have noise suppression, noise gate, and all this other crazy stuff onto it. And it's very, very quick how he gets them out. Now, people have been saying the cards are out of order. That I do not know because I did not open any Spectra Basketball, nor did I get any breaks, so I don't know offhand what the order is. If you have, make a comment in the comment section just so I know they are out of order. Uh, a couple other things I noticed. I'll hit the random.org at the end. It's not verified. Again, uh, that issue I've been hitting I don't know how many times now. Please, God, get yourself paid random.org. 
That way your code's good for 30 days for people to double check. And even if there's an issue afterwards, I can't remember if the guy that uh, runs it's from like Switzerland or Sweden or something like that there, but he can go back in and verify stuff all the time, day long. So that's one of the other biggest issues right now out there is the random.org. So if you guys are following this on Facebook, um, the guy first took down all of his YouTube videos. They're now back up, but he's turned off commenting. Go figure. He took down his Instagram, which I don't know if it's back up yet or not. I'm not going back and forth and looking. But what somebody noticed was on his eBay account, which is now has nothing for sale, and his Instagram, there were two Anthony Edwards Spectre RPAs. One was a very nice one uh, patch into it that I will say, and he had them for sale. So it starts questioning even more. We didn't see the packs being open. We didn't really hear them being open. And the cards that came out, yes, I do understand there was a LeBron base and a Maxi rookie card. But, I mean, if you pull an Edwards out, why not just stick those back in and make it look better that there's some other hits into it? I mean, just my thought process in general offhand. But my biggest thing is three cameras. Can't keep it on screen? Nah. I'm out right off the bat. And... If you are in the Facebook groups, they do use the guy's real name or kid's real name. I don't know how old he is. I'm not going to put that up there. You guys seen what the stuff is off the YouTube video. But I'm more curious what everybody else thought when you guys watched the video. Do you guys think that he possibly did not open the packs and already had previously opened uh, stacks of cards that he was just tossing out there, which is what's being said mostly? I mean... If I was being accused of stuff, I wouldn't have taken down all my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram. I would have, you know, came right out and, you know, especially if I was not in the wrong, I probably would have defended myself pretty well across the board. I mean, you can sit there and say, well, I pulled all these in the past. The past don't matter. It's that present video that everybody's talking about. And even if I was going on eBay looking at breaks, I always would happen to watch somebody break the product. If I don't see the packs and the boxes on camera, forget I'm out. Out big time. That, that's something that, you know, you learn. I think we talked about, well, we're here a long time since I've been doing these types of videos. But I want to say that's been, like, key since who, 2006, six, seven 2007 when I started getting in breaks that were being held on. I think it was U.S. stream back in the day. You always got to keep the product on camera. No matter what you do. I mean, I got there's times where your power may go out, your Internet may flicker. And you got to have the trust in those people that you're not doing anything wrong, whether you're trying to hurry up, grab your phone and record and while you're trying to get everything back up, you know, whatever it may be. It happens to all breakers out there. But this here has really no excuse on keeping product on camera whatsoever. But as always, I'm curious what everybody else thinks on to this. Um, let me know in the comments section. If you guys have been following it and stuff like that, there's more information being put out. Please put in the comments. Uh, like I said, I've been following a few posts on it this weekend, and to me, just by when I watched the initial video, without even reading what the initial post was, I was like, man, you got three cameras, product's not on camera, I can't hear the packs being ripped, and it just all didn't add up right. Why have all that money into a setup and not use it properly? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. All right, everybody, take care of a good week. Um, overtime will be live this Friday, the following Friday. We won't be live. Uh, I think it's like September 10th. I got a show on the 11th. I may try to go live from the show. I haven't really decided off my phone. I'll see how that plays out. Um, but that's pretty much it, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. And I'll catch y'all next video.